evening, everybody! Jason here from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, streaming on Treaty 7 land, home of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Sutina Nation, and the Stony Nakoda Nation, along with the Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. Welcome to Day 23 of 100 Days of Gaming, Raid the Arcade! 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. Do you want to play games at Heal Kids? Go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers that all go towards your local children's hospital and then you get to play games for 24 hours on November 6th. I'm playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. I've been part of Extra Life for nine years now, and it's a great way to have a lot of fun uh, by doing a lot of good, and you can donate in the links below. This Saturday, August 21st, me and the other members of the Extra Life Calgary Guild will be taking on the Extra Life Edmonton Guild in the first Extra Life Alberta Showdown. We will be competing in Fall Guys, Codenames, and Knockout City. The action starts at 1pm tomorrow on the Extra Life YYC Twitch channel, so tune in! In August, Extra Life also celebrates Tabletop Gaming with Tabletop Appreciation Weekend, August 21st to 22nd. Get ready for game day in November by playing Tabletop Games this month and get your fundraising going. Because anyone who raises $150 US in August will get a full set of these Extra Life dice from our friends at Heartbeat Dice and the box even lights up. So get in those donations now and help set a new fundraising record. Last year in 2020, over 43,000 participants in 113 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the United States by raising over $17.4 million. And those numbers just keep getting bigger and better every year because gamers are using the power, the power of games to change kids' health and change the future. But we can't do it without you. So if you'd like to know more about Extra Life or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Okay, so tonight, for day 23 of 100 Days of Gaming, uh, today, uh, because it is Extra extra Life Tabletop Weekend, I thought I'd actually do some tabletop gaming, and I'm going to be playing for you Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay, so okay, so just so you know, I'm actually a super casual Magic player, and, and in fact... In fact, I bet a lot of the decks I have are just ones that just uh, that just came with the game, uh, either for giveaways or they just uh, came uh, with uh, with the game itself. Uh, and I'll bet, I'll bet that some of the decks that I've got don't even don't even work with the game anymore. Uh, but what I'm going to do then is that I'm just going to dive right in, uh, play some uh, random decks. This is just going to be super casual. So here we go. Uh, let's see. I'm so I'm so casual. I don't even know uh, what some of these match settings are, but but keep the peace. That that's let's see. I actually first discovered uh, Magic the Gathering when Magic the Gathering Online launched, and I tended to gravitate towards green and red decks. So so let's pick this deck, large and in charge. Let's proceed to watch me get whacked by somebody. As I said, I am super casual when it comes to magic. I don't even own any paper cards. Uh, yes, I got that avatar because I was in the beta test. Okay, let's see. Okay, oh, looks good to me. Oh, spiders. I'm s scared to death of bugs. Gotta keep it. Yeah, there's my extra life sleeve from two years ago. Hello. Play a forest, and I'm going to do. Jungle Delver. And hello to you too, buddy. Okay, gonna play a forest, and let's see what can I do. Put a 1 1 to counter a target creature. Hmm, let's see. Do I got any really 
Yeah, I do have some big dudes, so I'll actually save that for later. I've got a feeling that guy either got a bad draw or... Or he's toying with me. He's bluffing. Oh, do damage to any target. Well, that looks like a good card. Okay, it's so on my turn. So let's see. Go to the forest. Let's see who can I get out there. Wildwood Patrol Trample. Okay, that guy looks. Wildwood Trample looks strong. Let's get you out there. Let's start chipping away at your health. Gigantosaurus. Oh, that guy's big. That guy be big. He's a big, chonky guy. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let's get stony strength on Wildwood Patrol. Let's let's put that on the jungle delver. Whoop. Whoops, never mind. Type target creature you control, and a creature you don't control. And attack a ball! Boom! Okay, now I'm wide open, but I think I could take a hit or two. I don't think he can hit me back with anything right now. Yeah, I think he got a bad deal or he's toying with me. Oh well. Okay, now it's time, let's see, to bring out the Gigantosaurus! Say hello to my little friend! Okay. Okay, Jungle Delver, you're gonna be my blocker just in case. I think this guy's... I think this guy's gearing up for something big. What the heck? Everything's just... Everything is just stacking on top of itself again and again and again. Oh, he gave up! Huh, he forfeited! I actually won a game. I did not see that coming. Okay, got some coins and XP. I'll take those. 
Okay, let's try it again. Okay, let's see what else this large and in charge deck can do for me. So let's so let's go find someone else to play with. Yeah, so I've only played Magic digitally. Uh, I know that a couple other members of the Extra Life Calgary Guild, uh, the group uh, that I'm part of, uh, they also play Magic a lot. Uh, when we last had an in-person game day event at the UFC uh, a couple years ago, I know that we brought uh, lots of Magic decks for people to come and build their own decks and just play with them. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, Colossal Majesty. Okay, I got nothing. I'll mulligan this. Stony Strength. Okay, I'll keep this. Hey, dude. But one card game uh, that other digital form that I have tried recently, I did try the Pokemon game, so maybe I will stream the Pokemon card game on Sunday night. Is it going to be taking part in the in the Calgary versus Edmonton showdown tomorrow? I don't think I'll stream tomorrow night. But I'll make more of an announcement like that at the end of the stream. Let's see. Let's see. Who can I summon for four? Oh, I think I can. All right, Rumbling Bailoth. Let's start bringing out the big boys. Okay, let's see. Okay. Oh dear, I think I'm gonna... Okay, oh good, I didn't burn that. Okay, let's bring the next Woodland Mystic out! Okay, Rumbling Bayloth, do your thing! BAM! Got a, got a lot of land, dude, but I don't think you've got anything to go with it. Oh yeah, that's right. I am a super casual, but I do know that with all the re most recent cards, I do know there's now some Dungeons and Dragons mechanics added into the game. So, let's get my spider out there. Bam! Okay, that guy could be trouble. Okay, let's see. Yeah, rabbit bite. <laughs> you know, watch out for my bailoff, he bites. Okay, 
Let me see. I am... Yeah, you're on the ropes, dude. Right, my Sentinel Spider has Vigilance, so he doesn't tap after attacking, so that means he's good to go. Okay, let's bring out my rampaging Brontodon! Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Okay, let's see... Okay, if I do send out my Sentinel Spider, chances are he will block it with that Vorning Clex and wipe him out. Uh, and hold back on attacking. Even though I've got no cards, let him think I'm up to something. Believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, jeez! Okay, that guy's big. Okay, this is rapidly going in my opponent's favor. Alright, at least it took out that guy. Okay, but let's get my Gigantosaurus out there! Okay, and no attacks. Oh, jeez. I remember I used to have a Beast of Burden card, and, and its power and toughness was equal to the number of lands I controlled as well. Uh, so... Oh, right, that one I'd trample. <laughs> Okay, yeah, beginning your upkeep, we could all could you power more greater, draw a card. Okay, let's just get that out there just in case. Choose the tagger. I got nothing, so hold back, dude. What the Turned his forest into a monster? Oh. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. I am so dead. Eh, yeah, I had fun. Oh, I got a pack of cards! Okay, let's open up this pack uh, before going on to the next one. Yeah, e again, even with my super casual uh, Magic the Gathering uh, knowledge, I do know that this latest card set that they've got, yeah, Adventures of the Forgotten Realms, as the name says, it brings Dungeons & Dragons elements uh, into the game. Uh, now, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons, uh, even though when I was a kid, uh, my mom did get me a copy of the original set, uh, thinking it would help me make friends in school, uh, but I never brought it to school. Because A, I was socially anxious, and so on today, and B, with my luck, well since it was 1980s Alberta, I'd probably get expelled for bringing satanic literature to school. But, it is what it is. Okay, so, let's see what I got! 
Okay, I... Okay, I'm just gonna take a look. I'm just gonna take a look at the art. Flump the jellyfish? Yeah, no, that's a name. Flump the jellyfish. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a look online. Maybe see if I can build a, build a build a deck with flump. I just like saying flump. Okay, okay. Let's get back and and let's play another hand. Let's see. Let's pick another one of these decks I got. Let's let's try this keep the peace deck and let's see what's in there. I have no idea what's in these decks. I'm just I'm just going in cold. Well, I do know that the next uh, Jumpstart event for Magic the Gathering Online actually starts next week, but I do want to try to get into it again when Jumpstart comes. Oh, Charm Stray. Pacifism. Okay, uh, I'll try keeping this hand. Hello. Let's get my kitty out there. Let's see, pacifism. Okay, I can't use that. Let's get a hallowed priest. Okay, charm stray. Go for the eyes. All right. Okay, let's see. Wolf token. Okay, that won't be much of a problem. Pacifism can't attack or block. Okay, I'll see. Okay, I'll save this pacifism card for a big guy because I just know there will be a big guy. Let me just see. Tactical advantage! Alright, and that wolf didn't get my kitty. Okay, yeah, I still got nothing here. Get a shot one and take four. Okay, that guy might be. Let's see, that guy might be a little bit in trouble. Goodbye, kitty. Oh, a legendary dragon. Oh man, oh man, that guy's gonna that guy could be trouble. But fortunately. Take that! Yeah, but I don't have anything with lifelink, so this hallowed priest is more or less at 4 4 for the foreseeable future.
Yep. Tick tock, dude. Jeez, I, I got to remove the pacifism from when I hit that guy. Oh, jeez. Enchantment. Let's see, I need, I need another character out there. you up to Oh, he's got vigilance so he doesn't untap. Oh, crud. That dragon feature of his will be a big problem. Okay, let's see. Oh, let's hit him with another pacifist attack. And kaboom. Here comes, here comes more of my kitties! Good. My cat soldier, whenever he attacks, he creates two soldiers with lifelink. Okay, so this could be my chance. Oh, geez. Okay, he removed the pacifism from him again. Some engorging ceratops. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I know that he can easily wipe out any of my dudes with all of that, so I'm actually gonna hang back. Got me with one blow. Okay, good game, guy. Oh. Uh, yeah. When Magic the Gat, when Magic Arena first came out, I did purchase the Mastery Pass the very first time, but I didn't really pay uh, uh, play. I didn't play en enough for it to be worth it. Okay, so in any case, it's uh, now 10.30 here in Calgary time. Uh, so it is time for a station break. 
So you're watching me play Magic the Gathering Arena as part of 100 Days of Gaming. 100 Games of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. If you want to play games that heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free and start collecting pledges from your friends, family, and co-workers. All those pledges go toward your local children's hospital as they change kids' health and change the future. And then you get to play games for 24 hours straight on November 6th. Or if November 6 is no good for you, you can play whenever you like. Or 24 hours is no good for you, you can play as long as you like. You can play whatever you like, whatever you like, whenever you like. It's because that you're playing games to heal kids. Uh, I've been part of Extra Life now for nine years, and I'm playing games to help raise money for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. And tomorrow, August 21st, at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, it will be the first Extra Life Alberta Showdown. Me and the members of Extra Life Calgary will be taking on the members of Extra Life Edmonton. We'll be playing against each other in Fall Guys, uh, uh, Code Names, and Knockout City. All the action starts tomorrow at 1 o'clock Mountain Time on our Twitch channel at Extra Life YYC, so come by and check that out. Also this weekend, it's Tabletop Appreciation Weekend. So Tabletop Gamers, uh, get your Tabletop going and fundraising going right now because this is a great way to, to gear up for game day in November because anybody who raises $150 in August will get a set of these Extra Life Dice from our Gamers in Arms over at Heartbeat Dice. And frankly, I want the dice. So if you donate to the Alberta Children's Hospital in the links below, uh, not only will you be uh, helping uh, Alberta sick kids, but you'll also be helping me get a set of freaking awesome dice last year in 2020 uh, 43,000 participants in 113 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the United States by raising over 17.4 million dollars but those numbers keep getting bigger and better every year uh, but we can't do it without your help so, if you'd like to know more about Extra Life or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. Uh, but now, uh, let's get back to 100 Days of Gaming uh, with Magic the Gathering Arena. Okay, so, okay, let's just use that same deck again to keep the peace and let's just find the next person in line. Yo, no big deal. Oh, we'll just see about that. Okay, two planes. No, no. Okay, there's nothing I can play right away, so I will mulligan. Charmed Stray. Okay, I think I got all these. Hmm. I'll move the Angel Vitality to the bottom. Hi there. Ow. Let's get my kitty out there. Okay. Let's send my kitty. Go for the eyes. Okay, let's get my fencing ace out there. Aha! Send up my kitties. You know what? I've always kind of imagined uh, a situation where I could defeat uh, an opponent in magic uh, to make it as absolutely humiliating. Like, take them uh, down to just one life point left. And then, and then just have a little one-one creature take him out once and for all, like a squirrel or one of my kitties. Okay, I okay. I'll bet this player has probably has a lot of those giants involved, given the nature of this saga card they're doing now. 
So I'll bet they do have. Oh, oh yeah, frost giants. Okay. Oh yeah, this player is packing a frost giant in their hand. And me, well, what have I got against it? A couple of kitties and a and a fencer. Okay, get some more cats out there. Okay. Okay, I've got a. Okay, I'm feeling good about this one, but. Might. Oh! Spoke too soon! Nice. Okay. Okay, this is looking bad. This is looking pretty bad. This is looking really bad. I can't play... <clears throat> I can't play that guy yet. They've got some really big dudes coming up. What the heck did that happen? Oh. Another frost giant? Good game. That was quick. Okay, let's let's pick a different deck, one of these ones that are available. Uh yeah, let's let's go for total air superiority. Let's try out this aerial domination deck. And again going in blind. Oh, ironically named opponent, Swoop, since I hope to get aerial domination. So let's see... Octo Prophet. Oh, I just like some of these names. Sorcery, target creature... I got nothing. I got nothing. Hey there. <laughs> okay, I summon Waterkin Shaman. I don't think he can, he can take anything against me, so, boom. 
And two points, I'll take it away. Great, I'm building up all this mana, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, but if he does, it'll get up to four. Just don't want to take four, just want to take four, but... Hmm. I'll save that one for later. Okay, looks like he's gonna... He's got a cleric class going. Ah, great. Okay. Yeah, but I can do Wall of Runes! Now I got a little bit of protection here. Okay, my turn now. Okay, now I can play my frilled sea serpent! Yeah, I can dish out four and can take six. So yeah, he's a big boy. Okay, I'll just end the turn. Got nothing but my wall. What are you up to, Swoop? <clears throat> okay, okay, now it looks like I can now get a get a big guy out there. 
Ooh, target creature it controls to his opponent's hand. Opponent's hand. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get out that big guy. <laughs> yeah, but Take that! Oh, I think on summoning uh, Drizzt uh, there was a mistake. Because he can Call another one of his kitties. Okay, now I've got two. Okay, I'm thinking now he's got a chance to really wallop me. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Who's the strongest? Okay, your unicorn is out of here. Yeah, but now I'm think for I'm thinking I could really get walled on my next turn. Oh yeah, consider myself whacked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm as I'm as I'm as good as dead. Good game. And I'm out. Well, he's got some coins and XP out of the deal, so... Okay, let's try this deck again. Let's play again. Salary! Hey. Hi there, Salary. Let's see.
Okay, let's try keeping this hand. Hey there. Well, maybe might be he might be playing with the same deck that I had earlier? Oh man, this is like deja vu. He's opening up with the exact same moves I did. Yeah, that guy's gotta have the exact same cards uh, cards I was doing for with that earlier deck. Let's see. Well, even then, it looks like that this guy had that same white deck that I was using earlier. I guess... I guess the heart of the cards is following him better. Okay, that'll buy me, uh, that could buy me a little bit more time. Gonna take out one of your kitties. At least I got that guy in a water knot, so... Send your angel back to your hand. Okay, I'm going to take out your kitty. What if I thought I'd take out your kitty? And if one or more creatures you control attack, they're indestructible! Ah! Jeez!
Okay, let's see. Ah! Ah, wallop me. Okay, you know what? Uh, I've got well, I've got one more. Uh, I've only got, got just a couple of minutes until 11 o'clock, so let's get in one more game. Back I can wallop me with that with that white deck, then I can wallop anybody else. Hello. I think your dragon sleeve is giving away some of your some of your plans. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can pull it off this time. Stop killing my dudes, dude. Let's bluff a little bit. Let's make... The opponent think I've got something in my deck and my hand. Oh, oh, how many more of those cards do you have? Oh, oh resigned <laughs> victory. Okay, well, I see by, by the clock on the wall, it's coming up on 11 o'clock at night uh, here in Calgary. And so, uh, actually, since that game just ended in a resignation in, in my favor, uh, that lets you looks like it's a good time to wrap things up for the evening. So, you've been watching me play Magic the Gathering Arena as part of 100 Days of Gaming. Raid the Arcade! 100 Days of Gaming is part of Extra Life, the 24-hour gaming marathon that's part of the Children's Miracle Network. 
you want to play games and heal kids, go to www.extra-life.org. There you can sign up for free, then start collecting pledges from your family, friend, and co-workers so that you can play games for 24 hours straight on November 6th, and all those pledges go toward your local children's hospital as they change kids' health and change the future. I've been part of Extra Life now for nine years, and I'm playing games to help raise money and awareness for the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary that helps out over 100,000 sick and injured children each year. And Extra Life is a great way to have a lot of fun by doing a lot of good. Now, tomorrow, August 21st at 1 p.m. Mountain Time, it's the first Extra Life Alberta Showdown. The Extra Life Calgary Guild and the Extra Life Edmonton Guild will be taking on each other in Fall Guys, Code Names, and Knockout City. So you'll want to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Uh, for all the action on our Twitch channel, Extra Life YC YYC. And this weekend is also Tabletop Appreciation Weekend. So Tabletop Gamers, get your fundraising going and get your Tabletop Gaming on. Like Dust Off the Dungeons and Dragons campaign, uh, play Catan, uh, Monopoly, Poker, uh, Magic the Gathering. It's all good because... In the month of August, if you fundraise $150 US, you will all unlock as a thank you gift these sweet, sweet Extra Life dice from our from our Gamers at Arms over at Heartbeat Dice. And to be blunt, I want them. So if you donate uh, to the uh, to the Alberta Children's Hospital in my fundraising uh, link below, uh, not only you will be helping the kids at the Alberta Children's Hospital right here in Calgary, but you'll help me get these sweet dice. So everybody wins. Speaking of winning, last year in 2020, over 43,000 participants in 113 countries helped over 10 million kids at 170 children's hospitals across Canada and the United States by raising over $17.4 million. Pardon, and those numbers just keep getting bigger and better every, every year, but we need your help. So, if you would like to learn more about Extra Life, or if you'd like to sign up yourself, go to www.extra-life.org. And again, if you'd like to help me in my fundraising uh, to help the kids of the Alberta Children's Hospital, you can do so in the link below. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in for watching me play uh, 100. Watch me play Magic: The Gathering Arena as part of 100 Days of Gaming and Extra Life Tabletop Appreciation Weekend. Uh, now, now a bit of a, a bit of housekeeping. Uh, I don't think I'll do, I'll do a 10 p.m. A stream tomorrow night uh, because I'll be taking part in in the Extra Life Alberta Showdown tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, so, but I will tweet uh, if I'm going to be uh, going live or not. So, just keep watching my Twitter. I'm at Jern J O U R N, and I'll see you either tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. Well, thanks for tuning in, and remember as always, kids can't wait. Good night, everybody. <laughs>